What's up YouTube? Mike here with Techno GI and it's been quite a while since I've done a video and this is more of a kind of a vlog. I just kind of wanted to tell you what I've been up to and why I have not made a video for a while. So reason I have not made a video for a while is you may or may not know if you follow my channel that I'm in the military, been in for almost 22 years now and I'm actually preparing for retirement from the uh, army that is. So obviously Army is not a very lucrative career. My retirement's not going to pay the bills, so I've got to get a new job, aka maybe start a new career field. So that's exactly what I've been doing as far as I'm currently in a program right now. It's actually through Microsoft and uh, Emeryville University, but it's the MSSA program, which is the Microsoft Systems and Server Academy. But is what it is is essentially a fast track to uh, learning IT. Now, it's about a four or five month program. I actually have been in it for now for, I'm starting week four tomorrow, and this goes all the way till October. So it's fairly intense, fairly busy. Um, what we've been doing, if you're curious, is extremely dry and boring, but so far we've been going over um, managing essentially servers. So the course kind of teaches you to be a server and cloud administrator. Now, having done this now for a month, I can, definitely say that this is probably something that I didn't want to do. I love technology. I want to do something technology related, but I definitely do not want to manage servers, virtual machines and all that kind of crap. So, um, but the good thing about this course is just because that's what they're training you, that doesn't mean that's what you have to do at the end. So at the end, you actually sit down with Microsoft and interview and basically if they like you, um, they theoretically hire you and whatever, uh, particular field they need folks in, they'll train you in that. So I really don't understand kind of why they're, we're learning this kind of stuff. Like, you know, this past week we were doing subnetting IP addresses and it's very um, not fun. So personally, having done that now, I, I definitely don't want to do that for a living. So if that's what I get offered at the end of this, then I guess I'm going to keep flying. But anyway, that's kind of what I've been doing. So if you're curious about that, if you've got any questions about that, I'll try and answer them. Um, so yeah, I'm basically trying to set myself up for retirement by possibly maybe starting a new career. So that's why I haven't made any videos because it's fairly intensive, fairly busy, a lot of studying, a lot of reading, and I just haven't had time to be honest. But uh, while I'm doing this video, I'm going to show you that I finally settled on a, um, I guess, permanent computer. So I tried the 15 inch, went to the 13 inch, and now I ended up going back to the 15 inch model. But this is the 2016, so it was the latest and greatest until about three weeks ago. And as you can see, I went ahead and put a colorware wrap on it. Uh, this is just a OG Apple sticker that I got that I put on because I think it looks good. But I do have colorware wraps, and as you can see, stuff likes to stick to it. But I thought it turned out pretty good. Um, let me show you on the inside, and I'll show you some close-ups. I put some red stuff on here just because I thought it was cool. But I've actually been using this for, ironically enough, for the Microsoft course that I'm in because for the course they actually provided a Surface Pro Force. Uh, we're not allowed to take them home, but uh, use them in class. But they've got an image on them. They've all got the same image, and the image is garbage. So they were having all kinds of errors. So ironically, I've been using my Mac for a Microsoft course, and it's been working better. So I did go ahead and install Boot Camp on this, and it works really well. So I've got Windows 10 Professional. And I set a partition of 150 gigs just so when I need to, I can use it for class, like using PowerShell and all that and practicing with it. But it runs really smooth. The only issue with boot camp that I found is the trackpad is kind of finicky and uh, kind of a pain in the butt, to be honest. So when I do use uh, Windows on here, I just use a mouse and no issues. But uh, really satisfied with it. And I went ahead and, and this is the most spec'd out model you could get until... They just released the 2017, but this has got the um, quad core i7, the highest gigahertz. I can't even remember what it was, but it's got the four gig, uh, four gigabytes of VRAM. So it's the uh, 455 um, graphics card. But um, this thing, I will say, takes 4K video and just it's like it's not even there. So with Final Cut Pro, I haven't tried Premiere Pro, and I'm not going to on this, but with Final Cut. Any 4K video I throw at this thing, it just chews it up and spits it out. But this 
Um, I'm going to hopefully get at least three years out of it. Uh, my wife will probably kill me if I get something uh, sooner. So this is going to be my computer for a long time, hopefully. So that's why I went ahead and customized it, made it mine. Um, I do love the retro sticker personally. I think it's kind of cool. And the wraps on this, this is, like I said, this is from Colorware. The wraps were kind of expensive. I bought the whole set and then I customized it, like I said, with the red accents. And um, it was around 100 bucks, I think, for all these. And application, you can't tell from a distance, but close up, you can see that we messed up. My son helped me do it. We kind of messed up a little bit. I'm not going to point the flaws out to you. Um, but I know they're there just because we did it, but I honestly don't really care. Um, but I do recommend these. I think they look cool and um, hopefully provide scratch resistance for my computer. So that's kind of what I've been up to doing the MSSA thing. And uh, this is the Mac I've been doing it with, ironically enough. I did pick me up a iPad Pro 10.5 inch, which I have right here. Um, I am planning on doing a video with this. Right now I'm using it to control my camera. But I do want to do a review on this. I will say just spoiler, it's been out for a little while now and it's the best tablet you can buy right now, to be honest with you, hands down. As far as a tablet, it doesn't get any more powerful than that. So whether you get to 12.9 or 10.5, exact same hardware, one's just bigger than the other, but I will tell you, it is a beast. I mean, I, I really like it. I'm still torn if I want to go back to the 12.9 just because I like that form factor, but since I use my Mac all the time, I'm like, well... For my iPad, I kind of want more portability because most of the, my computing is going to be on my computer. But anyway, uh, that's where I've been. That's what I'm doing. And since this is kind of a vlog, I've got another quick rant. I've got my retro Transformer shirt. And I have to say, the new Transformer movies are crap garbage. So I'm an 80s kid. And I grew up in the 80s. Grew up on the original Transformers. And... The story and the direction of the new stuff, I just think it's crap. It annoys the heck out of me. To me, it's as bad as GoBots. If you remember the original Transformers, there was also a show called GoBots, which was a cheap ripoff of the Transformers. That's kind of how I feel about the movies. But anyway, I want to throw that quick rant in there. Like I said, this is just a kind of a vlog, what I've been up to, video. So I can try and make more of these if this is interesting at all. Or if you guys are like, yeah, I'm probably going to have a whole five views on this thing. But anyways... Thanks for watching. I haven't died. I'm still here. I want to make some videos. Uh, the next one I'm going to try and do is a pretty in-depth on the 10.5 iPad Pro. I've been using it now for about a week, so I want to play for it for a little bit longer. Try it with the Apple Pencil and all that before I do a review. But again, spoiler, it's a pretty awesome tablet. But anyways, you guys want to see videos on anything specific? If I've got time, I'll try and do it. Um, and if you got any questions, those are easy. I can answer those. And if you enjoyed this video, help me out by giving it a like. And if you've not subscribed, please do so.